Hi, this is Chris from SimpleMaps.com, and this is a quick tutorial to show you how to add an interactive map from Simple Maps to your Squarespace website. So here we have a website at SimpleMaps.Squarespace.com, and let's say we want to put a map on our homepage right below this welcome image. So first thing you do is you go to SimpleMaps.com. If you click on the map you want, click Customize Online, um, you can customize a map. So I've customized this map here. It's really easy using an online spreadsheet. You can customize the colors and add locations, add um, pop-ups. And when you're done, what you're going to want to do is um, we're going to, um, you can purchase a license and then you can register that license. And then you come down here to map hosting. And um, I've already hosted the files, but you click update hosting or host files and you can copy um, this embedding code right here. And this embedding code, um, we're just going to copy over and we're going to paste into Squarespace. So for a full list of instructions, you can go to simplemaps.com slash doc slash Squarespace install and it will take you step by step through what you need to do. Um, but I'm going to show you in this video in particular what you do once you get the embedding code. Um, how you can actually paste that into Squarespace. So um, here we are in Squarespace right now. This is the public view. Um, I'm going to pause the video real quick and switch over to the private view where we're actually going to add the map code. So here I've logged in um, at Squarespace and you can see um, you have different settings. So here I am on home and we want to add the map to a particular page to the welcome page. So we just click pages and you can choose any page. We're going to go down to welcome, which is our home page. Um, and we want to add it right below the image. So we're going to actually add it to this text area here. And I just click edit. And add an insert point. And we want to add code. So you just come down here to code. So this option for map here is the Google map that you can get through Squarespace. But if you want something that looks a little cleaner, that doesn't have Google's logo on it, um, that has all the features that we have at Simple Maps, you actually click on the code. And we choose HTML, and then we just paste in that snippet from before. And I don't know if you can see here, but there's an apply button that we're clicking. There we go. And it says embedded scripts. This block contains embedded scripts. Embedded scripts are disabled while you're logged in. We can click preview in safe mode and you can see the map. So kind of, it's a little hard to see, um, but these scroll bars are all gonna be gone um, if you look at the map on the public page, which we can do here. If we refresh the page, we don't see anything yet, I believe, because we haven't saved it. But if we if we go back and then we um, save this page, here we go. And then we come back over here. We should now be able to view the map. There you go. So the map's right here. Now, one of the cool things is um, now that we have the map that we customized, on simple maps and we've embedded it, we can make any changes. So let's say we want to make the labels instead of black. Let's make the labels white. We can go to the settings. We can come down here. We can make the labels color. Let's make it white. And let's make the, um, the borders white as well. So it just gives it a little bit of a different look. And let's make the locations instead of a, a gray color, let's make them just pink. There we go. Now, um, our customization tool saves these changes automatically, but they haven't been reflected on our map yet. And that's because we haven't um, pushed out our changes to hosting. So we need to come back up to map hosting again and just click update the hosted files. And what that's doing is pushing the updates from the customization tool out live. And then if we go back to Squarespace, we'll see those updates. Um, have now been reflected on our web page. So it's a super easy way to easily customize a map. Um, if you have locations or offices or you want to visualize data, whatever it is, and you can re reflect those changes on your map very, very quickly and easily. 
Um, one tip I'd just like to offer before I go is if you put the map in responsive mode, as I've done here, then the map's going to take up the full width available um, within the space. So you can see here the map is exactly as wide as the text. And even if we change the browser size here, the map will continue to um, be responsive um, to accommodate the amount of space that's available. So if you have any questions, check out um, our Squarespace tutorial by going to simplemaps.com slash docs. Um, the link will be in the description. Thanks for checking us out. Um, shoot us an email if you have any questions.